go ahead and roll insight. Howdy folks, I'm Dabbas Volt, and welcome to Rolling Insight, the Dungeons and Dragons series where I give you some insight on topics for the world's greatest role-playing game. This week, we're covering one of the most controversial topics in the D&D space. No, no, not that. That's old beef anyway. No, that's been resolved. Thank God. What the f- No, that was like 40 years ago! <sighs> okay, I guess it's not that controversial, but it's definitely a debate. Milestone versus XP leveling. For those who are unaware, in Dungeons and Dragons, there are two ways to level up your character, both of which come at the discretion of your dungeon master. These two methods are either through the normal MMORPG grind of gaining experience points with roleplay, completing objectives, or the all-time favorite, killing things, or simply when the dungeon master decides a level up is appropriate for the narrative. I personally find myself a fan of milestone leveling more than XP, as I'm not a fan of doing taxes at the table. I may be a STEM major, who masters dungeons for fun, but even I have my limitations for math. So, what are the benefits of either XP or milestone leveling? Well, with milestone leveling, you have these moments in your game like beating a big bad, conquering some great evil, uncovering a massive plot, or even something like finding the lost treasure of adjective noun of event or person name. These are great moments for narrative tension and also allow your players to level simultaneously, so as not to worry about over- or underscaling encounters for everyone. XP, on the other hand, encourages the spamming of certain tasks depending on how you disperse your XP to the party. You could just say killing mindlessly won't reward XP and that you have to give a valid reason for the kill, or find other activities outside of kill quests to level up. However, most DMs I've encountered who do XP leveling treat D&D like an acoustic video game. They give the players a quest and it's usually a bland story with some meaty but grindy encounters behind them. I will say, my playtime with XP DMs is minimal and so I can very easily be biased. I actually used to master dungeons with XP leveling and despised milestone leveling. I believed it was arbitrary to hold your player's character's next level up behind a hidden wall, something you handed out when you felt like your players earned it, rather than the player seeing exactly how much effort they needed to exert, how much work they needed to put in, how many tasks they needed to accomplish to obtain the next rank for their character's progression. This came to an end for me ultimately, as I found players that I mastered dungeons for were mostly power gamers who wanted the thrill of the kill rather than political intrigue or story. I'm sure not every DM who does XP leveling treats D&D like World of Warcraft, and not every XP player only wants to kill things. That being said, what are some ways you could do XP leveling without needing to resort to constant violence? As I said, you can have XP come from other things besides slaughtering everything in a 30 mile radius that casts a shadow, and that's f everything. XP can come from completing objectives, good role plays, solving puzzles, or even meta things like taking notes and using them to uncover something in game. XP is a very versatile concept that can be given in any amount for any reason. All the XP DMs that I played for started us at level 1. To get to level 2, you only need 300 XP. That's two animated armors, a pair of bears, and whatever, just throw in a goblin because why not? Another goblin and two direwolves and your party is already at level 3. <laughs> they grow up so fast. Or maybe not. Let's see. Average party of 4 to 5, level 1, average damage output of 1 to 6 plus 2 per character per turn. Let's assume party has a total combined HP of 50, 1 brown bear does 2 d 6 plus 4 for first attack, and 1 d 8 plus 4 for a second attack per bear per round, with 34 hit points and 11 armor class, times 2 for both bears for combined 68 hit points. Eh, it's possible. Mileage may vary. XP leveling either requires clear guidelines to your party on how to gain said XP, or for you to expertly craft every encounter to match exactly their level of tactics and how much XP they're gonna need before fighting Margon and finding the adjective noun of a vendor person name. Milestone is less versatile, and only slightly unexpected. Most Milestone DMs are constantly barraged with players asking questions like, did we level up yet? When's our next level up? When are we gonna level up, DM? To which the usual answers are simply no or eventually. I run story-heavy campaigns, and so I run Milestone leveling specific to my campaign's arcs. When the players complete an arc in my games, they receive a level up. These arcs can be anywhere from four to six sessions long, or less or more depending on how much I throw at them. Arcs that are very combat-heavy are shorter, and thus the 
the party levels up faster, whereas roleplay heavy arcs are usually longer, meant for political intrigue or backstory exploration, and can take much longer but still contain the reward of a level up. I try to keep levels same across the board as to refrain from having one tanky character who just mows through everything while the party assists them. I might have the party level up before a boss encounter at the end of an arc or even gain a level in a different class, but only temporarily while they try to rid themselves of the curse of the adjective noun of blah blah blah. In any case, XP and milestone leveling have their perks and traps, and both are valid ways of running the game. The one you use for your campaign may very well define how you run said campaign, and how your players participate and play their characters. I will say, Beware of murder hobos and the main characters, which we'll cover in a different rolling insight. And that about sums it up. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring the notification bell for updates. I post these every Monday, so be sure to tune back in for more videos. If you want to see something covered, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you next time we roll insight. Have a good one.